Hello, welcome to this lecture video. Here I am going to explain oscillations and waves, simple harmonic motion, which comes under module 1 of engineering physics prescribed by VTU. So let us start with explaining the concepts. So here I am going to explain simple harmonic motion expression for spring constant for series combination and expression for spring constant for parallel combination. Now let us concentrate on what is simple harmonic motion. So a mass is said to be performing simple harmonic motion when the mass is the restoring force which is proportional to the displacement. The restoring force is directed opposition opposite to the displacement. The restoring force is proportional to the negative of the displacement or f is equal to minus kx or f is equal to minus k into x. Simple harmonic motion if we consider is the oscillatory motion of a body where the restoring force is proportional to the negative of the displacement. A body executing simple harmonic motion is called a harmonic oscillator. When we look at the characteristics of simple harmonic motion, it is a particular type of periodic motion. There is a constant restoring force continuously acting on the body. The acceleration developed in the motion due to the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement. The direction of acceleration is opposite to that of displacement that is f is proportional to minus x or f is equal to minus kx. It is represented by x is equal to a sin omega t where x is displacement at an instant of time t, a is the amplitude and omega is the angular frequency. When we look at the examples of simple harmonic motion, excited tuning fork, swings with which the children play, a plucked string in a guitar, a pendulum set for oscillation. So these were all some of the examples. Now let us look at the differential equation of simple harmonic motion. So for a body under oscillatory motion, the restoring force already told that f is equal to minus kx. Here x is displacement and k is force constant. If m is the mass of a body, as per Newton's second law of motion, f is equal to m into d square x by dt square or m into d square x by dt square is equal to minus kx. So further, d square x by dt square is equal to minus k by m into x or d square x by dt square plus k by m into x is equal to 0. The solution for this equation is nothing but x is equal to a sin omega t. So differentiating this we get dx by dt is equal to a omega cos omega t. Differentiating a i we will get d square x by dt square is equal to minus a omega square sin omega t. Further we can write d square x by dt square plus omega square x is equal to 0. So this is what about the differential equation of simple harmonic motion that is omega is equal to square root of k by m and omega is called natural frequency of vibration of the body. Now let us consider the expression for spring constant for series combination. So consider two springs S1 and S2 with spring constants K1 and K2 respectively. Let X1 be the extension produced in string S1 when a mass m is attached at its lower end. Therefore, f is equal to minus k1 into x1. Further, we know that f is equal to mass into acceleration that is f is equal to mg. So, we can write x1 is equal to minus mg by k1. Similarly, let x2 be the extension produced in spring S2 when the same mass m attached at its end such that the extension x2 is equal to minus mg by k2. Now let x, S1 and S2 be suspended in series as shown in picture. Let the load M be suspended at the bottom of the series combination. Since each of the springs S1 and S2 experience the same pull by mass M, S1 extended by X1 and S2 extended by X2. The total extension will be equal to X1 plus X2. Let Ks be the force constant for series combination therefore mg is equal to minus ks into x or which is equal to minus ks into x1 plus x2 further we can write 1 by ks is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 
और के एस और के इक्वेलेंट इज इक्वल टू के वन के टू बाई के वन प्लस के टू इफ देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज देन वन बाई के इक्वेलेंट और वन बाई के एस इज इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू एन वन बाई के आई एंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग पीरियड ऑफ ऑसिलेशन इज गन बाय टी इज इक्वल टू टू पाई इंटू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एम बाय के एस और एम बाय के इक्वेलेंट सो बोथ आर टेकन इन अकाउंट इयर Now let us look at expression for spring constant for parallel combination. So here the springs are connected in parallel, as shown in the figure. Now we have to consider two springs, S1 and S2, suspended from a rigid support, parallel to each other, as shown in the figure. Their free ends are connected to a mass M. Okay, such that A free support descends through a distance of about say x. The restoring force F P is equal to minus K P into x, and here K P is considered as force constant or K equivalent. So both are considered as same here. So K equivalent is nothing but K P. Therefore, F P is written as F one plus F two, or minus K one x minus K two x. So F P is equal to minus of K one plus K two into X, or finally K equivalent is equal to K one plus K two. If there are n number of springs connected in parallel, then K equivalent is equal to K one plus K two plus K three up to K n. For this combination of mass spring system, the period of oscillation is given by T is equal to two pi into square root of m by K P. So this is what about the expression for spring constant for parallel combination so here we have to consider two springs connected in parallel and k1 and k2 are the force constants or spring constants so this is what about uh, spring constant for parallel combination 35 meter if the maximum velocity it can attain is 220 meter per second here a is equal to 0.35 meter And V max is equal to 220 meter per second. So, what is the value of V here? We know that omega is equal to V max by y, and omega is equal to 2 pi to mu. So, further V is equal to V max by 2 pi y. So, substitute the contents in this uh, formula. We get 100.04 hertz, or it is equal to 100 hertz. So, this is what about the problem. Next. Uh, Given the force constant is 9.8 newton per meter for a spring, estimate the number of oscillations it would complete in one minute. If it is set for oscillations with a load of 89.37 grams, assume there are no external forces acting on it. Here, given data is k is equal to 9.8 newton per meter and m is equal to 89.37 grams. Convert that into kg. That is 89.37 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kg. And t is one minute or 60 seconds. So what is n? We know that omega is equal to square root of k by m and omega is equal to 2 pi mu. So we get mu is equal to 1 by 2 pi into square root of k by m. That is equal to 1 by 2 pi into square root of 9.8 divided by 89.37 into 10 to the power of minus 3. That is equal to 1.67 hertz. So further, n is equal to mu t t that is nothing but 1.6 into 60 that is equal to 100 oscillations. So this is what the solution for this problem. Now, a mass of 4.3 gram is attached to a spring of force constant 17 newton per meter. This mass spring system is executing simple harmonic oscillations. Find out the frequency of the external force which excites resonance in the system. Ignore the mass of the spring. Given k value is equal to 70 newton per meter and m is equal to 4.3 grams, convert that into kg. That is 4.3 into 10 to the power of minus 3 kg. So we know that omega is equal to square root of k by m or omega is equal to 2 pi mu. So further mu is equal to one by two pi into square root of k by m, and when we calculate 
by substituting the parameters the value becomes 10.03 hertz or it is equivalent to 10 hertz thank you